Good morning, dear students of 11 class. Welcome to my class. This is Chumupal, lecturer, Government Bangla College. You are the new students of session 2020-21. Dear students, due to prevailing situation, that means the pandemic of COVID-19, we cannot meet our students in our regular classroom session. And this is why we are meeting with you in online classes. However, we hope for better days to come. And when this situation will over, we will meet in our regular classroom. We expect something like this. So dear students, as it is my first class with you, I have chosen the topic today from your English first paper EFT book, that means your English for today text that is included uh, as board book in your syllabus. From English first paper EFT book, I have chosen the unit 6 adolescence, and there are several lessons in this unit. Today, we will start from unit 6 lesson 1. And the lesson one discuss on the storm and stress of adolescence. You will find it in your EFT book, and you also find in other model questions book, which you are, if you buy any one, then you will find it in your model question books as model questions. Okay. So, dear students, let's start for our lesson today. I will read out the text in slides and then I will I have added here a little bit exercise for you when you will find it you will check out the question paper in previous years or earlier years you will find that uh, your first paper question start with a text and then it starts with multiple choice question for five marks. There are five multiple choice questions for you that you have to solve or to answer. And today I have added that as exercise after the text. Okay, dear students, by the by, gradually we will do more exercises uh, as uh, we proceed or as we advance with our text. We will do more exercises okay dear students so let's start for our today's class yeah, dear students i am trying to make it more clearly visible to you Hello dear students, if anyone if you are here, please let me know. I am not finding anyone in my live class. Um, you are not responding in my live class. I want you to respond. Please respond me if you are here. Then respond me. Today's topic is I am 
selecting here uh, the topic from slides today's topic unit 6 adolescence lesson 1 the storm and the stress of adolescence Dear students, no one of you are responding. If you don't respond me, then I can't understand whether life is going okay or not. Please respond someone. This is our text today's The Storm and Stress of Adolescence, the text part 1. You will find the text in your EFT book and you can check it out through line by line. Now I am reading it out for your convenience. Children must pass through several stages in their lives to become adults. For most people, there are four or five such stages of growth where they learn certain things in fancy but to age two, early childhood, later childhood and adolescence. Children must pass through several stages. That means in their lives. In their lives they have to cross different stages. They have to go past. That means they have to cross the stages in their lives to become adults. To become a full, to grow, to become a Growing people, growing person, person or mature, have, a children has to pass through, a children have to pass through many, many stages, several stages, many stages. For most people, there are four or five such stages of growth where they learn certain things. Infancy, but to age two, early childhood, three to eight years. So, such stages are like this in fancy, from the birth to age 2, early childhood, that means 3 to 8 years, later childhood, 9 to 8 years, and adolescence, the period is according to year 13 to 18 years. So these are the stages that children must pass through several uh, in their lives to become adult, to become a growing person. A children, a, a child or children have to pass through these stages. In fancy, up to the age 2, from birth up to the age 2, early childhood, 3 to 8 years, later childhood, 9 to 12 years, and then comes the period adolescence, 13 to 18 years. So dear students, these are the four stages every person, every human being has to pass in his or her life. Okay. Next. Person. 18 years and over are considered adult in our society. So when one became 18 years old, he is considered as an adult person or growing up person in our society. Of course, there are some who will try to act older than their years. Yes, of course, we find such persons who act more 
older than their years who so act more older that means he uh, that a person sometimes behaves more mature than his or her age so this kind of people we see in the society usually but for the most part most individuals have to go through these stages irrespective irrespective means need be sheshe of their economic or social status but more or less every person have to go through the four stages that means infancy childhood early, early childhood later childhood and adolescence in his life to become a growing person <coughs> excuse me world health organization who identifies adolescence as the period in human growth and development that occurs after childhood and before adulthood who is an united nations organization world health organization identifies adolescence as the period in human growth adolescence is identified as a pre period as a period in human growth and development that occurs after childhood so adolescence comes after childhood and before adulthood it is a period in middle in the middle section of childhood and adulthood comes adolescence this phase this phase what does this phase mean this phase or this section you can say represents one of the critical transition transition mean a time to a, tra a transferring time from one pl one place to a changing time a shifting time a changing time from one position to another that is called transition critical transition is very complicated changing time in one's life span and is characterized by fast paced growth and change which are seemed only to infancy in infancy or in, in when one becomes a, in a, in the very early stage of a baby's life that means a newborn baby within 3 months a newborn baby or within 6 months grows changes tremendously within 6 months a newborn baby learn how to see within 1 year a newborn baby learn how to walk so in infancy changes happen tremendously and in adolescence also changes happen tremendously okay so after infancy infancy is the fastest time of growth and after that adolescence is the second fastest time of changing in human life that is why call the phase represents one of the critical transition in one's life span and is characterized by fast paced growth and change fast paced growth and change mostly happen in infancy and then happen in your adolescence period so, so adolescence periods are the second only second changing time fast changing time second very fast speed changing time of human life infancy is the first speed changing time in human life and adolescence is the second speed changing time of human life okay next biological processes drive many aspects of this growth and development with the onset of puberty marking the passage from childhood to adolescence biological process you know physical processes are usually occur biologically okay so biological process drive many aspects of this growth and development with the onset of puberty marking the passage from childhood to adolescence puberty 
Puberty means the period of life from adolescence to junction period. Puberty means the period of life from um, the adolescence to maturity. It is a junction period. This puberty marking the passage from childhood to childhood to adolescence. The changing time is the marking period is the puberty. Banglai jake bole bayoshundi ka puberty bayoshundi ka. So de and development with the onset of puberty marking the passage from childhood to adolescence. When from childhood to adolescence you have to pass the time and that is marked as puberty. That is the puberty time when between childhood and adolescence the time is called puberty. The biological determinants of adolescence are fairly universal. So what changes in adolescence period is universal to all the children. However, the duration and defining characteristics, but how the period, how, how much time it will take and the characteristics of this period may vary, may differ across time, culture, socioeconomic situation. Time, culture, socio, according to time, culture, socio, socioeconomic situation, the time duration, the characteristics of this adolescence period may vary from one country to another country, one nation to another nation. Children among the children of one nation to another, another nation among the children from one country to another country due to biological differences due to environmental changing differences they, There may be some differences in the characteristics of adolescence period Okay, but the biological changes what happens to a girl from a, in adolescence period what happens to a boy in adolescence period is quite universal Okay Next, this period has seen many changes over the past century. That means in your past century, that means in 1900, 19th century. Puberty, for example, comes earlier than before. But period has seen many changes over the past century. Puberty, for example, comes earlier. Then before people marry late and their sexual attitudes and behaviors are different from their grandparents or even parents. So what is said here? <coughs> Sorry. According to this text, in past century there are and in present century there are lots of differences puberty that means adolescence period comes today adolescence period comes earlier people uh, children becomes more mature in 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 a very tender age okay but children of our uh, past century they have no such scope of being so mature or of something advanced in their life so they don't have the opportunity of gathering knowledge of uh, or they have they don't have any information sources so that is why the peer, children of past century became mature in late and today's Children, the children of the present century becomes more mature in a very tender age. That is why their puberty comes earlier than before. Okay, people marry late. In today, people marry in 30, 32, 35. But in past century, fine, people marry in 18 years old, 20 years old, 16 years old. So they have their early marriage. But today, people marry usually marry after being mature so people marry late and their sexual attitudes and behaviors are different from their grandparents so if you find their married life and their sexual atti attitudes are different from their grandparents or even parents there's there is no coherence of their uh, their family life according to their grandparents they don't lead their family life according to the their grandparents or even their parents they don't follow them they the today today's 
uh, modern people don't follow their grandparents or even parents attitude of life they want to follow their own attitude of life and so this is why their sexual attitudes and behaviors are different from their grandparents and parents among the factors responsible for change are education why these things changes from their grandparents and parents because there are some factors and the factors responsible for these changes are education urbanization spread of global communication these are the factors why the changes are going so fast and why the changes are so different than before different from the first century because in modern century people have the scope of education so much urbanization and spread of global communication this is why everything here happening so fast okay part three in part three you will find this text the time of adolescence is a period of preparation for adulthood during which one experiences several key developments so in adolescence or boyshundikal is a period time of preparation of adulthood where one person will become adult or a growing person puno boyshko and boyshundi and puno boyshko there is some difference so is a preparation boyshundi kal is a preparation time for being adulthood or puno boyshko hor jonno ekta preparation time during which one experiences several key developments <laughs> being adult you have to grow some development you have to need some development besides physical and sexual maturation physically sharirik gothoner dik theke when one becomes growing up people from childhood there is some differences physically these experience include movement towards social and economic independence when one become adult he become social and economically independent he can move freely he can talk freely he can um go anywhere communicate with others freely you need not to depend on parents or any other person okay guardian development of identity the edu being uh, in the process of being an adult person he gets education so he gets he develops his own or her own identity okay the acquisition of skills needed to carry out adult relationships so in the meantime being an adult he also learn some skill acquire some skills to carry out adult relationship adult means to be responsible those growing people be, have to be responsible okay and to become responsible he or she has to learn he has to acquire education acquire some skills so work abilities so that he can earn himself or herself he can be economically free can develop himself and also carry out the responsibilities that is suitable for an adult person so carry out the adult relationship and roles and the capacity for abstract reasoning one thing capacity for abstract reasoning that means to follow the reason not to behave childishly or behave uh, emotionally always so you have to re reason you have to understand the reason you have to understand you have to behave when one becomes an adult person she or he has to behave logically logical understand the logic of life okay no emotional attitude no childish behavior is expected from any adult person so abstract reasoning that means behaving logically have to have the capacity of abstract reasoning and to behave logically while adolescence is a time of tremendous growth fasting so fast growth and potential is lots of uh probability is there it is also a time of considerable risk adolescence is a period of when he in from adolescence period when he becomes adult he will have so many probabilities he will have he will have he or she will have so many aim in in or 
in his or her life but it is also a time of considerable risk because during which social context exerts powerful influences because in this period one become one can be developed in her life one can also deteriorate in her life in his or her life so this is the period when one can develop his him or herself and it is also the period when due to bad association or dishonest association also chonge one became deteriorates karo khotiyo hote pare keu unnato jibono boyshondi kaler upore ete pare abar keu karo jibon ninnomukhi ba khoti karo hote pare so because it happens social context exerts powerful influence because the environment the society that he mixes up with the people it also creates powerful influences on the adolescent girls or boys so this is the period that actually determine deter, actually um instruct the way of development and way of deterioration in your life okay so that is called here now we will go for a little bit exercise after the text in your model question books you will find after the text you have to go through exercise and the first exercise item is multiple choice questions multiple choice questions is it more visible to you dear students okay multiple choice question choose the correct answer from the alternatives these are the question these are the answers you have to choose the right one to become adults children have to become adults or growing people children have dash to get proper education to have good intelligence to be social to pass several stages of life which one you think in your text if you go to the text you will find that the result at, at the at first text we find that in the first um slide of our text what was it children must pass through several stages in their lives to become adults so pass through several stages this should be the answer okay so to become adult children have to what is the result to pass several stages of life this is the correct answer to pass i change the color to pass several stages of life this is the correct answer okay dear students is it visible to you the color has been changed this is the correct answer to become adult children have to pass several stages of life next the most complicated stages in human life is infancy childhood adolescence old age the color has been changed the most complicated stage critical time in human life is adolescence the color has been changed this is the adolescence is the right answer the most complicated stage in human life is adolescence next who stands for who world human organization world humanity organization world health organization world higher organization what will be this in your in one of our slides you will find it that
World Health Organization. This is the answer. WHO World Health Organization. WHO. So what will be our result? So who stands for what? World Health Organization. So color has been changed. World Health Organization is the right answer for this question. You have to, when you write the answer, you have to write answer and after that write the answer World Health Organization. Excuse me. Duration of each stage of human life. In human life, you have already find that four stages are there. Duration of each stage of human life. Duration of human life is all each stage. How many times? Our static state may vary different. Is universal. Shambhojanin is same everywhere. Shambhotro akiroko. Duration of each stage of human life is. Ki bolle chilo ekhane. Madhe do you recall it or remember it? What has been said in the slide? Um, the duration and defining characteristic of this period may vary. The duration and defining characteristics. You find this is the answer here. The duration and defining characteristics of this period may vary. This is the answer. Okay. So, the answer will, you will find in this portion of the text. So duration of each stage of human life, here is the answer, may vary. That means may be different, may fluctuate, may vary. Okay, the duration of each stage of human lives may vary. Next we'll go, what is the common view about adults? Common view, general view about adults. Person above 18 are adults, mature persons are adults, adolescents are adults, persons 18 years old are adults. So, what is, what will be the result? Very easy, you can understand. Adults are usually above 18 years old. So, you will find the answer in this portion of the, here, here in this text in this portion persons 18 years and over are considered adults in our society this is the actual answer so 18 years and over that means above 18 years so when we will answer this we will find the find the answer in our text like this and then we will be sure about the answer so what is the common view about adults persons above 18 years are Persons above 18, that means 18 years, 18 are adults. So, this is the answer. Persons above 18 are adults. So, okay, dear students, that was five multiple choice questions as you find in every model question book and also in your exam paper whenever you will go for exam. You then you will find also in your exam questions that you have to answer five multiple choice questions of the first exercise item, first question item of your question paper. So this is the basic exercise of your question paper so in every model question you have to
face multiple choice question item so thank you dear students that's all for today so dear students today i have here completed i have here completed only uh, one lesson of this unit that means unit 6 adolescents there are four another lessons of this unit gradually in my later classes i will try to cover the whole unit and if you follow me and stir if you follow the class and stir a little bit uh, doing exercises at home as you are very new and we are with the teachers don't have the scope to meet you personally or in face to face so uh, we are uh, requesting you we are suggesting you start your study and keep a touch with the books don't be so much detached with your lessons otherwise you feel that you are you feel that there are so much gap between with the teachers and you the students so try to lessen the gaps be try try to follow the classes that is going on online so these are what we say this is the necessity of time we don't have any other way so dear students try to understand the prevailing situation and try to be attentive to your studies this time one day this time will over and our happiness will come again and with that hope today i will take leave of you that's all for today bye bye dear students see you again